Hello, hello everybody, welcome to Zanzana. I have the pleasure tonight to have with me Guillermo Esquerdo from uh, Angelus Sapatrida. Hi, uh, Guillermo. Hey, what's up, Karim? Nice to meet you, nice to be here. Thanks for your time. Yeah. Thank you, thank you for being with us uh, tonight. Um, I put you here because tonight we're going to speak about uh, this new album of uh, Angelus Apatrida and um, yeah, eighth album for about uh, 20 years of the band. Let me tell you something. Uh, it's a sh uh, first thing, um, excuse my English. Sometimes maybe I'm going to uh, find my words, you know. No, no, come but, on. Uh, it's perfect, and, and it's uh, it's perfect for me. I'm I'm not uh, an expert to speak in English, so yeah, it's uh, it's it's more than perfect for me. Thank you. Okay, so first thing uh, I have to say is something. First thing, uh, uh, I'm ashamed. You know why? Because uh, I didn't knew before Angelus Apatrida. I I make Zanzana for almost twenty years. You know, uh, it's um. It's a metal show in Tunisia because I'm in Tunisia and I didn't knew Angelus Apatrida and I knew it with this album, Never Late Than Never, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, yeah, of course. No, it's a, it's a pleasure. And, and I was so impressed uh, that, um, that, that we got this request. You know, it's like yeah. because it's, it's, it's not, um, how to say, it? it's not uh, normal. To have um, uh, request interviews from from uh, you know the, the the regular countries like the countries where it used to have interviews like UK, Germany, France, uh, United States, uh, and of course Spain because we're from here. Yeah. But it, I was so happy to attend this uh, when we got the request, and it's like fuck yes, and it says, it's, it's going to be a live uh, a live interview, so much better, of course. So yeah, yeah, so happy to be here with you. So thank you very much. So um, and the second thing is like when I hear it, when I heard this album, uh, I heard this song, and uh, other songs of the album, it was like <laughs> a punch in the face. You know, it's uh, wow! You 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 did it all. You 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 put all what it needs um, to to have a great thrash album. Thanks, thanks for for the words. <laughs> really, uh, yeah, it's like I mean, without press metal band, and this is uh, this is way what we want to do when we're composing new music. We really want to express what is inside of or us, uh, what is inside us, and what are our feelings. And since this album was composed during a global pandemic, especially during the the worst months of the pandemic last year, there were a lot of bad emotions, bad feelings. And um, excuse I mean, me, and, and excuse me, and especially in Spain, because in Spain yeah. it was uh, yeah, yeah, an yeah. error. Uh, yeah. uh, the first month was, was a hell, it, is, yeah. it, it was horrible. So, yes, uh, we went through a, a, a big, like a long time uh, street quarantine. I mean, the, it was not allowed to, to go from home and, unless you were going to work or or something like this so yeah it, it was uh very bad times so yeah it uh, it was uh, like kind of a therapy doing this uh, this album because we could express all the bad emotions and all the things and and put it all together in in, in 10 songs and make them sound uh uh super violent and aggressive uh, full of angry and angriness uh, i mean this is what's supposed to be a thrust metal album, in my opinion. Especially this this music, this kind of music, thrust metal, heavy metal at all, but thrust metal uh, in particular. Um, this is uh, how it's supposed to be, like uh, not pretending to be angry, but being angry, like really angry, like you are. So uh, yeah, it, it, it was perfect, and we learned a lot because uh, I, I wish uh, not to pass through something like this again in the future but uh, we're learning how to make these um, sensations these feelings happen again in the future i mean uh, try to to record the same violent way and and impress that kind of uh, 
emotions in the music in the next time. But of course, not in a pandemic, not in a global uh, problem like this. Um, but what well, it's, uh, uh, it's, I'm very happy to, to for your words. I really appreciate it. Yeah, no, no, yeah, really, really. And uh, you know, I was thinking, I, I was listening to to it uh, also in my car, you know, and uh, I was wondering, wow, this is the album that every Metallica fan is waiting from a long time ago. <laughs> I don't, I think you should now uh, write some music to Metallica for the new album, you know. It's a joke. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, 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 and I'm gonna say the same. It's like I, I think that Metallica are not angry anymore. Maybe they are like they have problems with alcohol. Maybe I don't know, but uh, they are not angry anymore. So this yeah. is why they are not uh, releasing albums like this. But anyway, I, I still like what Metallica are releasing uh, lately. Yeah, what makes you angry, uh, Guillermo? Well, I think the global situation. Um, since the uh, very beginning, uh, we like to to write about the things surrounding us. And our lyrics are full of uh, messages. There are a lot of uh, social issues. We're very criticizing the system uh, we're living in. And, and of course, not only the pandemic itself uh, brought a lot of uh, problems, like health problems, but a lot of political and social problems at the same time in, in the whole world. Uh, not only in Spain, but in the rest of the world. We could see it last year in the United States, for example, as well. Um, so all, all that kind of things influenced us a lot, not only for uh, writing the music, but uh, for recording it, like in a, like behind really pissed off. You know, uh, I remember the, the days we were in the studio, um, you know, when you were in the studio alone, and recording, uh, there are a lot of things uh, happening in your mind, and, and you remember a lot of things. And I, I remember being very angry, and and singing more angry, uh, like they So yeah, especially the the things surrounding you. It's uh, what makes you uh, feel like this. Yeah. Uh, before speaking uh, with this uh, about this album, um, yeah, what what came first? In in fact, uh, the riffs. Uh, the melody, uh, the uh, the melody, the chords, uh, the uh, the lyrics. Normally, the, the the music, the music comes first. In our in, in our case, um, I think it's uh, for us is 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 easier to uh, put lyrics to uh, music than doing it backwards. We we did it in the past sometimes, but uh, in my case, uh, I prefer to write the lyrics uh, once the the music is done. So yeah, uh, normally we start with some riff. Uh, the it, it could be even the, the 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 smallest one, like the the less important riff that you get. But from this riff, you can build a, a whole song uh, around it. And after that, yeah. uh, then you start to to move things, and then you think about the 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 lyrics and the vocals, maybe how how they can fit. But uh, yeah, mainly they start with a small riff and. Uh, with this, we just compose the whole song and uh, make the rest of the of the song, uh, including the lyrics. But normally, lyrics are the last thing to come. Uh, let's say hi to to Benjamin. He's here. Hi, good evening. Hi, Benjamin. <laughs> uh, thank you for being with us. Um, but when you begin with uh, with music, and uh, you say that um, this uh, this album, Angelo Sapatrida, uh, is about angriness uh, how can you be angry on um, composing music and after putting the voice and putting the lyrics how can you be angry on playing the music before uh, that you are angry in your mind with the lyrics that you are going to to sing it's, it's not being angry it's trying to release the angriness you know it's trying to release the bad emotions so okay. it's a good thing it's a um, as i told you before it's kind of therapy it's um it's a way to release the bad things and of course it makes you angry it's like i don't know imagine the situation that you are in a like in a dead end in your mind and then you start to cry because you are about to explode it's something like this um and this is a very good thing in my opinion so but um the thing is like uh when i was singing those lyrics uh, i was just many images came back to my mind 
So it made me feel angry and sad at the same time. And I think it's uh, very important because it's the first time that myself, I, I can even feel myself like this every time I listen to the new songs nowadays. I can feel that angriness and I can feel that sadness, you know. So, and I think it's very good because music is art and art is the way to, to express yourself, express your emotions, express what is inside your heart. And I think it was very good for doing this. This is why, this is why I, I told you before that I need to improve this and I need to learn how to do this without being angry, you know? Like try to, uh, I don't know how to explain it in English properly, but try to not pretend to be angry, but try to ex impress that kind of uh, energy. That was the word. That kind of energy, extra energy in the in the vocals when when recording. I, I I didn't this I didn't do this before in the past. I couldn't. I wasn't able for doing this. I was uh, singing and doing my vocals in my things. But I never felt like this, so I need to put this again because I, the, the the final result is perfect, and I love it. Yeah, uh, Benjamin, always love this live stream. They are great. Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> thank you, Benjamin. Um, Guillermo, uh, all the songs have uh, this energy of, uh, of thrash music that. Uh, Maybe sometimes go to to Megadeth, to to, to Metallica, to Pantera. It's a, for me, it's a, it's a perfect uh, 2021 uh, thrash album. You know, songs like um, the, like uh, Indocrinate, or maybe uh, We Stand Alone. This song is uh, so wow. Um, it's um, how how came this uh, this uh, this energy this feeling where 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 did it came uh, the uh, the ideas of riffs uh, because there's two questions in one the first question is uh, where did they came did you listen to other music and second thing is um, having inspiration after 20 years uh, after uh, seven album this is the eighth and um, and renew yourself and giving uh, a new idea. So, what was the, the magical potion? Yeah, I would say again that it was the, the pandemic itself, maybe, that we have enough time for writing the music, producing it, and thinking about what we were going to do. Uh, actually, this is the first time that we're uh, working with uh, different people in the, in the recording and mixing and mastering the album, and I think it, it gave an extra uh, point for the uh, more fresh and new sound in the in the band, but uh, nothing changed. I mean, the, the influences were the same. Uh, this time, actually, when when I was composing the music, uh, and I think that David uh, did it as well. I prefer not to listen to metal music when I'm composing. I prefer to to listen to other different music like rap music, pop, uh, 50s rock and roll completely different things in order not to get influenced by other fresh bands because I al already got a lot of influence since uh, I I'm, I'm listening to heavy metal music since I'm since I'm eight years old so yeah I got everything here and I prefer not to to listen to other music when I'm when I'm writing new music and and so I did it so I did it this time and so yeah of course uh, the, the main influences that, that we got like Pantera Megadeth, Testament, Iron Maiden, Judas Priest, Black Sabbath, everything is there and, and, every, and, and always will be because it's, uh, they are our main influences. And, and I mean, it, 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 should, uh, it could be stupid to deny them. I mean, it's, uh, it's normal and, and we love it. We, we love that sometimes uh, this Pantera vibe come from here and then you can listen to to this part that reminds you to this uh, band or whatever. It's like, of course, uh, the, the, this is the way we, we learn how to play and how to compose music. So it's cool. But I, I would say that it was the pandemic itself that made this sound like new. As, as, as you say, it's, uh, it's already seven albums and every time it gets more and more difficult to, to write music and write lyrics, yeah. especially lyrics, because uh, English is not my 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 native language as, as as you can as you can see 
Um, but it, it takes. No, no, uh, not me. <laughs> not me. <laughs> but uh, at the same time, I feel comfortable uh, writing and in, in English, and and I get a lot of uh, help from American friends, um, and I feel very comfortable with this. But uh, this time is the first time for a long time that we feel like like a new beginning, like that we have different open new gates for composing new music. It's a, it is also because we just uh, the tuning, we changed the tuning, we went uh, half a step down for the first time, and now the the new riffs, everything starts to sound newer and more fresh than ever. So yeah, it's like. You know, it's, it's, it's when you open a, 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 a door and like a lot of new things comes to you and it's like, wow. Uh, in the beginning when we were writing the, the album, we felt that maybe we will have a lot of problems because you don't have, you can't uh, repeat yourself. Of course, you cannot do uh, things that they are already done. And it's like, it's very difficult, especially when you got already six out. So this time it was like, a new beginning. It was, let's say, easy to to write this new album. So, yeah, it's a, I, I just can't wait for the next one because I already we already got new ideas. We already got new riffs, and it's like I, I feel myself like really to ready to 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 write a new album. Another thing about uh, Angelo Sapatrida is uh, the fidelity of the the members. Uh, you are the same members uh, from uh, 20 years now. Uh, yeah, wow. uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah I mean, for, for us, it's the normal thing, you know, it's like, I think that the, the most important thing for this is uh, there's no egos, there's no leadership here. This is a very democratic band. Uh, every, everybody has the same importance that the rest. We're just the 25% of the band. So this is like a mastermind. We work like a mastermind. We know each other for more than 20 years. Um Victor and David, for example, they were one of the first friends I got when I was a kid that started to share music and talk about music because the, my friends at school, most of them, they, they were not interested in heavy metal, but I was already listening to heavy metal and I was already wearing long hair when I was 10, 11 years old. So, and, and the bass player, Jose, is my blood brother. So, and he was uh, together with my other brother, they were who introduced me into heavy metal. So it's like it was so easy when when we got the chance to play together when we were kids. It was so easy to fit, and we all grew up together. So musically, it's perfect because it's like clockwork. This is why we 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 call clockwork or or third album, and we feel like this. It's like I, I cannot imagine doing this with other people. I mean, I don't know what's gonna happen in the future, but from now it's it, it's uh, I cannot. Uh, it, it it would be weird. To, to work with other people that my my friends my my bandmates bandmates at the same time I think it's very important to to keep distance between tours because we spend a lot of time a long time uh, touring uh, especially when you're touring uh, other other regions like Europe or the, or America or Asia that you spend like 30 40 days together and we live in different cities so when we come back, after a tour, it's very good that we're separated. It's like, okay, I don't want to know nothing about anybody for two or three weeks. So it, it's, 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 it's quite good. I think it's healthy for the man. But uh, at the same time, I know that there are bands, that there are uh, changing members uh, from time to time, and, and it's uh, even healthy for the bands. But in our case, this is the way we, we like this. This, uh, this is our life. I mean, uh, uh, we're, we're playing in this band for... <laughs> More than half of our lives, so it's like, I, I so far I cannot imagine doing this with other people. Yeah, as far as you are equilibrate uh, between uh, and uh, a real democracy, because you know you told me about your your, your blood brother, you know there's uh, other belts with brother that didn't work uh, very good. Now oh, yes, okay, there was um, the Kings with uh, Ray Davis and his brothers, but. There was Oasis with Gallagher's uh, brothers, and that wasn't and very uh, matching, you know. <laughs> Scorpions as well. Yeah, yeah no, but yeah. The, for example, when, as you say, like Oasis, like I think that they both got a huge problem with egos. So, yeah, ego. This yeah. is not happening in our, in our environment. In, in our case, our family, 
uh, educated us like in a very in a proper way, like in a democratic way. In um, we love each other. I mean, in, we're friends before brothers. We're best friends. Uh, the, my brother was uh, the the one who introduced me to heavy metal. So it's like playing with him and and and, and sharing this life with him for me is a privilege. It's the same with Victor and David. For for me, it's a privilege uh doing this with with them so yeah of course there's there's no problem at all because before friend before brothers we are friends of course and there's nothing else and there's nothing more important than friends and family yeah of course tell me um you told me about let's speak about guitar because you told me about the uh, halfing down uh, the, um, the the keys of uh, your your guitar so How, can, how did this came? You, you, you saw it, uh, you, you heard it, uh, how did, did this came, this, uh, this change of technique? Well, it was, uh, we're playing in, the, um, in Sharp D for almost 20 years and it was like, I don't know, I, I think it was uh, just behind board during the pandemic, the first month that, yeah, I mean, of course, every, every musician we got Uh, a lot of guitars and we got uh, different tuning guitars because we like to play other songs and other styles of course but it, it happened that one day we just uh, started to play the new riffs but uh, i think actually it was by accident playing with uh, with another guitar you know with uh, not the guitar uh, uh, tuned in 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 sharp d but uh, in d standard and suddenly everything started to sound like deeper with more energy bigger and it was like wow 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 what's happening here it was like oh yeah of course this is not the tuning so it was like and and i told david hey david i'm i'm playing this with these like try it and let me know what do you think about it he was like wow it sounds perfect it was like oh, okay why not let's do it like this let's do it it's a small change but we can do it and 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 yeah of course i, I think it, it was for better Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, sometimes, you know, a uh, big invention comes uh, like this. Uh, Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like yeah, it, it, was not, it was nothing planned. I mean, um, I, I remember that sometimes we talked up about this and, and in the past we, we, we already recorded a couple of songs in different tuning, but it, it was nothing planned, like nothing to, uh, to do in the future. It, was, uh, it came like by accident, almost by accident. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Angelus Apatrida. So let's uh, re remember uh, the most important thing. This album um, with the same name, Angelus Apatrida, uh, from uh, February 5th. Uh, you can uh, buy it. You have to buy it because I tell you, this album is very amazing for all the people that love thrash metal. It's wow. And, uh, you know, All the uh, the songs are uh, going on a big BPM and no love song on the album, no melody, no ballads, nothing. Angry from A to Z. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. There, 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 there was no time for that. I mean, um, and and there's no problem with this. I mean, we uh, we, we already made a, a ballad in the in the previous album in Cabaret yeah. de la Guillotine, and. I think that music, uh, in in our case, music comes as I told you before from the from the mm -hmm. deep of art. It's not what you pretend to sound, and it's not what you pretend to 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 play. In our case, it's uh, what's in our mind in that moment, what's in our heart in that moment. And I would say that 95 of the songs that we compose, the main riffs and the main structure of the song are composed like this. You know, it's like they are, it, it could take like weeks, even months for finishing a song. But the main thing, it could be composed in five minutes. Like the first thing that comes to your mind, this is what it stays. And that's all. Because if you start to change and change and change, most probably you will just ruin everything. Um, but this is the way we did it uh, always. And, and I think it's, it's, it's the way we're, we're going to do in the, in the future. But of course, this time I think due due to the situation and due to the what we were feeling last year, it's uh, it was time for doing like uh, fast, violent, and aggressive thrash metal album, and it was not planned at all. 
but I, I, uh, like he was not planning in the in the in the past to compose a ballad song. It just came like this, um, and I don't know what's going to happen in the future. But I think it's uh, this is a, a very interesting thing in in bands that they don't try to copy itself. I mean, uh, we could try to repeat the formula of uh, of the songs that we know that it, it that they were better than other ones, but no, we prefer to the, like starting over, like uh, we're recording the first album like this, and we prefer to do it like this. And and yeah, I don't know what's going to happen with the next one, but this time it's time for violence. It's time for fast, uh, fast song and for the speed and for angriness and for a lot of groove. Yeah, um, um, I was thinking now. You know, Spain. It's uh, like Tunisia. It's a uh, sunny. Uh, you're, you're, where are you in, in Spain? Madrid, Barcelona, or? No, I, uh, I live in Albacete. It's a small town. Albacete. Yeah, in the southeast. It's uh, near Murcia, Alicante. Yeah, so it's a sunny place. You know, it's just, and uh, when it's sunny, there's uh, joy and. Uh, Okay, but um, how how did you came to how did you came to 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 metal to to make a no the the actual que real question is why Spain doesn't have a very big uh, metal bands like you what makes the difference what well what what's um, your you are I think the um, you you were the first uh, maybe I don't know if it's the unique uh, band that it's uh, who signed a major like uh, Century Records, and uh, you are the the um, Spanish metal band. You know where are the others? What's happening of um, the metal scene in Spain? We do have a huge metal scene uh, in Spain. I, I would say that Spain nowadays is one of the of the countries with uh, one of the best metal scenes in the whole world. The thing is like the most popular Spanish bands, they all sing in Spanish and it's uh, very difficult for them to be uh, uh, famous Worldwide, yeah. uh, mm -hmm. outside of Spain. But they are huge here and they are huge in Latin America as well, from Mexico to Chile. It's, uh, yeah. we got a lot in the 80s. I mean, we got since uh, Angeles del Infierno, Obus, uh, Baron Rojo, um, uh, more contemporary bands like Saratoga, Warcry, of course, Mago de Oz. Maybe they are not playing heavy metal like like in the in the early days, but yeah, of course they are they are huge and much bigger than Angelus Apache in Spain, of course. Uh, unless uh, um, we are we are a big band in Spain, but we are not that big that they are, for example. Because, um, but they all sing in Spanish, and I think this is the main thing for uh, the rest of the world, non-Spanish speaking, to wonder what's going on in this country. You know? So yes, and we got like uh, I would say I don't know, maybe 14, 15, maybe twenty major festivals every year in Spain. Uh, every band loves to come to play in Spain because it's uh, the audience, the crowd is incredible. It's amazing. And, and in my case, I mean, it is not because I'm from here, but I think I agree that the Spanish metal scene is one of the best in the world nowadays. And but yes, you're you're right. Maybe Angelo Zapatero is the first band to go internationally like this. Like uh, start, uh, I think that we are the first band uh, that signed to a label like Century Media Records, and then started working uh, worldwide. Like start touring properly, uh, like long tours, uh, playing everywhere not going for a show or two shows to america or asia just doing a proper tour like this i think that we were the first band doing this breaking like small barriers in this but nowadays there are a lot of other bands doing that kind of things as well and we're super proud about this like we're very proud that we like broke this uh, small chains of uh, of the international uh, community for spanish band and very happy about this so yeah please everybody just check uh spanish bands like for example tundra they can check uh Chrisix, for example uh they can check sociedad alcoholica they are actually this is my favorite spanish band it's a metal hardcore band and they started in the 80s and they are like a bomb on a show is is that they are incredible they're my favorite spanish band 
actually. So yeah, I, I really uh, would like to invite everybody to to discover the me the Spanish metal scene. So maybe uh, the next album, you can make like uh, uh, Munspel did that uh, they sang in uh, Portuguese. Uh, I think maybe uh, Sabaton now is making an album in German because the the, the song that was released today was in was in German. So maybe a next uh, Angelo Sapatrida metal album will be in Spanish. Maybe why not? Because now no, no, you I, are international. So no, you no, can, no. Uh, no, it's, it's not because of that. And actually, it's one thing that Century Media is always asking us, like making a song or two in in Spanish. Um, yeah. Uh, the main reason that we're not uh, singing in Spanish is because since we're kids, we all our main influences are uh, bands singing in English. So when you are a kid and you want to make your own band, you just want to play your favorite bands. So this is why we started singing in English. Um, but at the same time, I think that the Spanish language is more complicated for writing. Uh, I think it's uh, English is more musical language and for a person like me that I don't consider myself like a, a good writer, uh, I think it's uh, it's good enough <laughs> writing in English. Uh, I think I should improve a lot and learn much more to write proper lyrics in Spanish. And I, I would like to to do that. I really would like to 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 record uh, one or two songs in Spanish. You know, but yeah, uh, it's definitely something that I want to make in the future. But it's not a matter of being more or less international. It's a matter that I think that Spanish language for music is more complicated. And I really admire the Spanish band, which are able to transmit and to write that kind of art in Spanish, because I am not able for doing this. Um, I, I don't see myself writing like this. Uh, I need to improve myself a lot. Yeah, now I remember that even Opeth made uh, an album in... Uh... The same album, a uh, song in, uh, in, in Swedish and a uh, song in, uh, in English, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah man. Definitely, <laughs> definitely uh, I need to do this. Uh, because, uh, yeah, you find the point of doing this in Spanish is, is super beautiful. I mean, a Spanish language, uh, I, I, uh, this band sings in, sing in Spanish. And, and one of my favorite uh, songs are in Spanish because it's um of course it's my native language and and if you were able to connect in the language uh, express what you what you want to say in your own language in a beautiful way it's wonderful but so far i'm not able for doing this but i, I will try to uh just remember that uh you just discovered by accident uh, what it uh, how can how it can sound like when you down uh, yeah, 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 a half yeah. tone. So maybe maybe one day you will have some Spanish lyrics and wow, I yeah, can yeah, do that. I will try to make it happen, of course. I will try to improve myself. For this, I need to, to read more because uh, lately I'm not reading books. And I need to read much more. And, and I will try to... In Spanish, yeah. I will, I will yeah. try to do yeah. it. So tell me... Um, you, uh, I told you about Tunisia. Do you know Tunisian bands? Bands from Tunisia, metal bands from Tunisia. Uh, I don't uh, hear. Oh, it's now. Oh, it's no, okay. No. No. Yeah, no, I was saying that. No, I'm so sorry. Uh, <laughs> um, I, I, I know that I, I was. Uh, I watched this uh, documentary called uh, Global Metal. But I don't remember if there were any band from from Tunisia. But no, of course not. And I, and I would love you to to uh, recommend me some bands. Okay, so um, first thing when you have some times, you go to uh, Zanzana channel on YouTube, and there's a playlist of uh, Tunisian metal bands, and uh, <clears throat> there's a lot of bands. Maybe you know Mirat because they're making uh, Oriental metal. Uh, you will uh, very love uh, Cartagots and maybe Znus because there's a Tunisian band whose name is Znus that remind me a lot uh, of, of your music, this, uh, this rage, this angriness, you know. And uh, yeah, so I invite you, uh, in, invite you to, to go to... Uh, yeah, yeah, uh, definitely. Yeah, I, will, I will do, of course. Yeah, it's, yeah. Uh, it's so interesting knowing this. And, and of course, nowadays 
with uh, all the globalization and all the information that we got from everywhere, uh, social media, Spotify, uh, everywhere is like, I'm pretty sure that we're missing a lot of incredible bands all over the world, and especially from countries that, that, that like in Spain, we're not expecting to, to discover new bands. So yeah, definitely we'll take them out. Yeah, and uh, did you come to Tunisia even on holiday one day? I will. I would love to, but I've never been there. Uh, I I only been in Morocco and of course yeah. in, in in the, the Spanish city of, of Africa. But no, of course, uh, I I I wish we we could do it in the in the future. Of course, that uh, yeah. if, if we can play, it will be much better. But if not, yeah. going on holidays will be great. Yeah, it would be great that you, you came here because in Tunisia, you know, they, they really love thrash metal and I think uh, they'll go rough in front of uh, Angelus Apatrida with all your all your music. Yeah, it would be, right. it would be great. Uh, thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Guillermo. I don't want to take uh, <laughs> much of your of your time because uh, it was... Uh, yeah, it's, uh, thank you, Deja. Thank you um, for, um, for letting us... Uh, um make it this uh, this interview and uh, uh i don't know uh, what uh, what can you uh, say to your friends now for, first of all i want to thank you for for your time and for doing this interview it's uh as i told you before i was really expecting this and um like i was so surprised that, that we got a an interview with with uh with you and it's um <laughs> I'm really happy that we did that we did this, and uh, definitely I would take the bands you said. And for all the the new fans, uh, and until we can meet in the future, maybe we can go to Tunisia. Uh, we just invite everybody to to follow and join our social media and Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, so we can keep uh, in touch with each other. And just uh, I really hope that you enjoy the album. And if you didn't know about Angelus or Patria before. I really hope that you do do you like the the band and enjoy the music, and um, and that's all. So it's like very thankful for your time and expecting going back to work as soon as possible <laughs> with the tours. Yeah, I think uh, I saw that you you have a concert on uh, March twenty. Yeah, yeah, in tw in twenty days, in, in seventeen days actually. Yes, uh, it's going to be the first show of twenty twenty one, and yeah. Uh, it's gonna be a social distancing show, you know, with uh, people separated. They are sitting with a mask and stuff. But at, at least we can go back to work because this is our full-time job, and we're really suffering the consequences of the pandemic economically uh, with our small company. Uh, so yeah, this is like uh, oh, small fresh air for the for all this situation. So yeah, I don't know what's gonna happen in the future, but. From now we got this uh, this new show in Madrid. Let's see what happened. It's gonna be great, I think. It's uh, it's gonna be sold out soon. So yeah, just can't wait for that. Yeah, it's interesting. Uh, social distance and people uh, sitting for uh, listening to thrash metal. Yeah, uh, good luck. Yeah. Good luck. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah we, we, we did we did a show like this last year in Barcelona in summer, and it was not that bad. It's uh, definitely is much better than playing just in front of the camera for doing a streaming show. So yeah, I prefer at least to have sitting people there. <laughs> yeah, but uh, what are you going to do? You're going to to link them on the share because when you really, I, I don't imagine myself listening to your music and saying this. Oh, okay, very nice. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's gonna be great, <laughs> but at least it's a way to start working. <laughs> oh, okay, I, I think this. Um, it's going to be very interesting, you know, your 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 music. And it's going to uh, to um, to give a lot of hope, maybe, to all the, um, the the business, the metal business. So it can make it can prove that it's possible to to do it, even with uh, with pandemic, even with uh, with uh, with Corona. You know. Yeah, this is what what we are trying to. To show, especially to the government and, um, and the authorities, because they nobody was able to help us to help the the music, to help the culture. We are the only sector. We are the only part of the business that that can't work. 
the cultural uh, the cultural part of of this is, is so this is it, this is terrible because we don't have help we, we have any help from from the government uh so it's uh it's 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 most of the of the bands like us and a lot of business like us are reaching the point of no return like um getting in a bad situation like yeah so yeah this is a, a small a small, a small fresh air for for this and to let them know that yeah we can still doing this even with a pandemic uh, so yeah someone needs to sit down and take solutions for more than one million people that we live directly from from live music so yeah it's uh but you know uh in the end we don't expect nothing from them because they never helped us and they will never help so at the end it's uh it's just a matter of of us of the musicians of the technicians for the people of the of the life uh, culture to save ourselves and help each other it's uh it's the only way we we will be able to survive this it's all over the world you know even in tunisia and all over the world is it's the same you know it's, uh, yeah, exactly. it's the same situation look who's here oh <laughs> hey my brother <laughs> you're late jose you're late <laughs> Hola, jose. <laughs> okay uh and uh, look who's here uh, davish alvarez uh, oh but now all the band oh yeah. all the band is here <laughs> hey, Davis. Que pasa, bro? <laughs> okay thank you thank you very much for being with us and um and uh, hope to see you one day in tunisia or maybe one day in spain uh, or all of, yeah, yeah, all of all the world you know thank you thank you very much uh, thank guillermo you, and you, uh, Thanks for your time, and we just keep in touch. Of course, just uh, keep an eye on our socials because we're always doing things there. And I don't know if we're gonna do like a streaming show, but maybe it will. Uh, we will do a streaming show in the future, so you can just tune in from from Tunisia and from all over the world. And yeah, see you soon in the future. Thanks again, Karim. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you, Guillermo. Zanzana, l'émission métal.